In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the title filter to add simple text, shapes, and images into your video. So we come into Filters, Titles, drag it into our timeline, resize it down a bit. Let's just match the length of this clip. Click on it, right click, edit. Now we're editing our titles. We have different tools along the side here. Let's take a look at each one. The top one being text. We click on it and it adds in a text box. We click on that text, we can drag it around. Put it where we want it. We can change the font. We can change the color of the font. Make it bold, italics. You can see when I have an element selected, you have different dots around the selection that lets you control how to resize it. If you grab one of the corner ones, it'll do a nice clean aspect ratio based resize. Whereas if you grab one from the side or the middle, it'll stretch it. There's also a handle on the top that lets you rotate your text around. And you can add additional ones just by clicking again. Let's look in the next tool, Pictures. We can load a picture, we can either upload it directly or grab one that we've used before from our media library. Load in this little face here. And again, we got all the same options. I can resize this down, rotate it, stick it where I want it. We have some simple shapes, a square. I can choose the color of the border of the square, how big the border is, the color of the square. And the opacity, kind of make it see through. All the same resize options. Also, have the circle, which is very similar, all the same options the border, opacity, colors. We have a brush tool. We can choose a style of brush. Right now we're just on a pencil. We can change the width of the line, make it thicker, thinner, and then the color. There's also different kinds of sprays and lines, different patterns. Turn off our brush. Now when we select an item, see we get more options. Let's use the delete option first here. Let's clean up some of these messy brush strokes. Click on our smiley face. See we have the option to center it horizontally. Also center it vertically. We can bring it to the front or back. So for example, if I put it here, you can see it's behind the circle. The one in front of it, we can say bring to front, send it to the back. We can clone it to make a duplicate. Finally, we can clean everything, remove all this, or we can toggle on a grid. It'll hide the background image, show this grid pattern that can help us line stuff up if we need to carefully. Make sure everything's at the same level. This can help. When we're all done, we save. And we can see it in our preview. And that's it.